welcome back to my channel my name is Kerry uh, hello if you are new here and welcome to another food shop video I had said in my last one we were going to try and shop local but to be honest we did last week and we used the market and the deli and our local veg box delivery service but to be honest the weather has been shocking and we um, it just wasn't very good quality the things we received I think they were from um, cold stores on the farm and at the market I got some tomatoes that had a Morrison's packet on them so I think even some things weren't available at the wholesalers from for the fruit and veg market so I managed to get a Tesco slot our Tesco's I don't know if all Tesco's are doing it but the Tesco's in the town nearest to us um, releases late like last minute slots um, for home delivery the day before they're always late at night they're always somewhere between four and ten uh, I went for the um, flexi saver which was three pounds and it was supposed to come between four and nine and then this morning after my shopping had been picked they sent me an email to say it would be between eight and nine which was fine it's nine thirty now and all evening they updated it after eight o'clock to a half an hour slot which is totally fine again the children are asleep which actually makes this easier um and to be honest overall the whole experience was so much better than ordering from asda i've never ordered online from any other supermarket except asda and this one was so much better um, the website was better to use. You could put notes against your item. I may be telling people things they already know, but if you've never used Tesco before, way better than Asda. Um, if you don't want, so say if they didn't have uh, cannellini beans, you could put a note against it to say, send me butter beans instead. Or if they don't have black beans, you could put a note against it and say, send me uh, pinto beans instead. So you can choose what your substitute is rather than the computer choosing for you, which is much better for me. So then you don't get a sieve instead of a wooden spoon or something. Um, but yeah, it was great. And I, I think it was good value for money as well. And it was, um, excuse my squeaky floorboards. <laughs> um, it should have been £124.62. And with my club card savings of £12.73, plus the three pound delivery charge which is fine it was 114.89 so it was 111.89 really for the actual shop um and i think i've done really well to be honest i think this will do us almost two weeks meals i'm hoping so i'll go through the shopping and i'll let you know all of my meal ideas as i go along i haven't done my meal plan yet so i won't be able to show that i'll pop it up on instagram uh, once I've done my meal meal plan on Kerry.Jervis, it'll just go on to my stories uh, probably tomorrow because we always start on a Friday because I do my shop Thursdays or Fridays. So without further ado, we have got some of these proper chips. I love them. And the it's I think it's like 20 grams or 25 grams. You get the 94 calories or 96 calories, but they're really light. And so you get quite a few um, and they're delicious. And we're trying to be uh, quite healthy with the things that we eat. And they were on club card offer. So they were a pound instead of one ninety nine. So I've got four. And that'll be one, two, three, four, uh, eight. Uh, 16 servings maybe for between Steve and I. So something like that. So we'll make them last. I don't know if you just wants me to nibble on a night time. Uh, Andrex. Uh, toilet rolls we need some toilet rolls these are on delivery limited to one per person they are but well, they were on um club card as well offers i think they were 450 for nine instead of 550 or four pounds and also some baking powder and baking powder baking paper and some cling film some zoflora i just like to use this for my sinks to be honest i don't use it for anything else I have a Dettol spray for um, door handles and all of that type of thing. But I really like that when you pour the, when the water goes down at the sink, the smell comes back up on those. So rather than buying an expensive drain thing all the time. Although I probably should just put bicarbonate of soda and 
hot water and vinegar down there with some lemon juice, but maybe next time. <laughs> I didn't really think about that, did I? Um, baby dove wipes. The children are three and four, but sometimes you get in a situation where we need a wipe if we're out and, and things. But these are biodegradable ones, so we will put them in the recycling. Or do they go in the normal bin? I don't know. Not down the toilet. But anyway, biodegradable. Apparently 100% biodegradable. I don't know how long that takes. Naturally de derived fibres, but it's better than the other ones. And these will last us ages now. And we've got some bread. Uh, the Tesco Finest Bread, I find is really nice. It's 99 pence. So it's almost the same price as the like the branded stuff, but I think it's nicer. Just whole meal today. Some white batch rolls for the children. They prefer white bread with their burgers. I find they eat it better. Um, and I've got some burgers in the freezer and some brown rolls. And it's the 20th today. Oh no, it's the 21st. That's 20th. That's tomorrow. But I mean, I could freeze them. I might freeze some and keep two out. But they're the fresh ones from the bakery, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to make some veggie burgers for Steve and I. So we will have one of these. And hopefully they are not they don't weigh too much because we're trying to watch what we are eating and be healthy after the Christmas splurge. And some porridge oats. I've been having porridge nearly every day. They were only 75p. I'm finding that the prices really are comparable to Asda at the moment, especially if you use the... Uh, Aldi price match uh, brands that Tesco have and they have um, this Growers Harvest brand and they have another brand um, which I'll probably find something of it in a moment which is really reasonable as well and I find that the quality is absolutely fine. Um, we have porridge, sorry, back to what I was saying, every, nearly every morning at the moment with um, a half a cup of oats each with uh, a cup and a half of liquid so I do Cup of, half a cup of oats, half a cup of milk, a full cup of water and then a half a tablespoon of cinnamon and cook it and then I put a tiny little block of chocolate on it with a teaspoon of maple syrup and some apple and it's delicious, really really nice. Um, the Robinsons was also um, reduced so I've got a lemon and an orange so to help all of us drink lots more water and it was... Was it two pounds instead of three pounds? I think I had a pound off, so it should be two instead of three. And then I've got a few store cupboard things that I have ran out of because I've been using them up, or of which I only have one left and I'll need them over the next couple of weeks. Got some spirali pasta because I really like this. I've only got a little bit left. And some conchigi, the shells. And I thought this was a 500, but it's a kilo, but that's okay. Else, I might have just bought two 500s. I can't remember what I was doing at the time. But you have a 95 item limit at Tesco's. Apparently that's so they can deliver to more people, which is great anyway. But I had to go back through my trolley and remove a load of stuff. Which, in hindsight, now that I did it, I didn't really need those things anyway. So, huh, I saved myself. The Tesco's inadvertently saved me some money I would have spent on things that I didn't need. Um... Butter beans, cannellini beans. I'm going to use one or the other to make the bean burgers. I think I'm going to do red pepper and white bean burger. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. You'll see it on my meals of the week. Anyway, uh, some haricot beans so I can make homemade baked beans. Uh, peeled potatoes in water. I find they're really easy if you want a really quick curry. This is a, uh, they're brilliant in a curry. And they'll soak up all the flavour of the, the spices and things. Some black beans for chili or mexican bean wraps etc some no added sugar and salt tomato ketchup for burgers because again healthier and some lighter than light mayonnaise and i thought i would make some like a, a lighter version of um potato salad or a cheese savory for top of jacket potatoes and things but that's what the mayo's sort of for like sort of ideas and some baking powder for um waffles and pancakes that i make for my children for breakfasts some uh, light soy sauce i don't have any left and i really like the lee kung ki one um and i'm gonna make some noodles and things some passata in case we have a bolognese and chili lasagna actually yes i'm going to make a lasagna i think 
if I have enough uh, lasagna sheets left. We'll see. We'll see because I've seen a recipe for some lasagna crisps as well. We'll see how that goes. But I might not have enough. That might have to wait. Some more syrup. We'll use it on our breakfasts. Some paprika. I think this was supposed to be sweet paprika. I'm going to have to look at the translation. I think it's Polish. So I'm, I'm hoping it might be sweet paprika. If it is just regular paprika, that is fine because I use it all the time. Anyway, uh, gherkins for burgers. And some couscous for salads. I really like uh couscous and veg salad. I cook my couscous in vegetable stock and put other bits and bobs in it like garlic powder or onion salt or uh, chili flakes um, and it's delicious and super healthy and like it says in the packet lots of fiber in there and some quinoa as a protein source for myself. I had it with chili last week and I'll do I don't know what I'm going to do with it this week or next week, but I am going to use the quinoa for some because I really enjoyed it. Some paella rice or paella, however you want to pronounce it. I've never had paella before. I um, have never really eaten seafood ever. I think I ate, well, I, I ate fish cakes as a child. Well, that's not really seafood, is it? It's not even really fish, it's a potato mostly, but... And, don't even really remember eating fish fingers. I don't think I've ever liked fish ever. So I'm going to try and come up with a, a, a paella a vegetarian version or non-meat version, I should say, a meat-free version. I've got some saffron and things in the cupboard so and lots of uh, veggies further along. So we'll see what we can come up with. Um, and next we have some of this sugar alternative. I don't really have a lot of sugar. I don't put sugar in tomato-based things at all, or I, I put a little bit in the pancakes to make my children, but sometimes I like a little bit of sugar in my coffee, um, and I don't like the taste of sweetener very much, so I'm hoping that this might be a bit better. It was on a club card offer. Uh, it had a pound off, so I thought I'd try this one. The other one that was on offer was the Candorel something but it's just um candorels that uh stuff you shouldn't have i can't remember what it's called now somebody will know but um aspartame 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 aspart yeah that one so i thought i'd try this one instead uh and some sushi rice going to make some sushi there i've got some nori i've got some peppers so we're gonna do some uh, pepper sushi i really like pepper sushi and some fine egg noodles and some medium egg noodles. I'm going to do like a, um, a chow mein or something. So I thought if I do it at lunchtime, I'll use the fine ones because they're a bit lighter. If I do it for dinner, I'll use the medium ones. They'll all get used up. Or if I want to do like a noodle soup or something, I can use the fine ones as well. Uh, some reduced fat mozzarella, two mozzarellas. It is Steve's birthday uh, soon and we he has requested pizza. So I'm going to make some little mini pizzas for us and the mozzarella is for the pizzas. And some baby bells for snacks for the children. Mature uh, cheddar slices for on top of burgers, just like the, the cheap cheese. I like it on a burger, um, but I've got the mature one instead of the mild one. Primula light cheese and over here we've got some light Philadelphia and some 30% uh, less thirty percent less at Pilgrim's Choice. So the Pilgrim's Choice and the Philadelphia and the Primula, I think, no, not the Primula, just the Philadelphia and the Pilgrim's Choice, they were both on offer as well. I think the Pilgrim's Choice just had 30 pence off it or something. Uh, and the uh, Primula had 95, and um, Primula, Philadelphia had 95 pence off. And I'm going to try and make a lighter, mac and cheese but then top it with something else to give it some more flavor through the week so we'll see how that goes add some derrily triangles uh the little ones like that and i used it tonight in a in a soup <laughs> yeah but it was nice it worked it was just i didn't have any other cheese so i used derrily <laughs> never mind um some of this tempeh my husband had it in Cayman when he was working there in Grand Cayman earlier last year and he said he likes it I don't like tofu 
type things. I don't like the texture. It's like the chewy texture. It reminds me of meat. So, but he wants to cook that, so he can have that one. Uh, this, these were uh, new, as far as I know. Well, I've never seen them before. I don't eat that many desserts and yogurts and things. Um, but they look delicious. Sixty nine calories a pot. Definitely be. I think I'm going to have one of those soon as I've put all of this away. Actually, um, before bed, supper. Some Muller Lights donut inspired ones. I think I might have had these before. I'm not sure. It might have been a Muller Corner with pieces in it, but the, the yogurt was nice enough. I think it's mostly just like a, a raspberry yogurt, but it'll be, it'll be taste nice enough anyway. And I think they might have had money off them as well. They were the ones I had money off, so they were the ones that I chose. I think they had about 60 pence or something off. And some broccoli florets some mixed sliced peppers just so I've got vegetables to hand in the freezer in case I can't get things from the market etc brexit dreaded b word coronavirus all that stuff that's happening so I just want to have uh, frozen food in the freezer and as well if I haven't prepped things it's much easier to just grab those ones as well and some strawberries for porridge maybe I thought if I got them out while I was cooking it and then put it on it might uh, be a nice contrast the cold strawberries and the hot porridge we'll see if not we can have it with yogurt and I've got some bacon medallions for my husband um, for on the pizza and for a bacon sandwich maybe or a brunch at the weekend we might have them with um, Cumberland chipolatas for my children for dinners and things and teas or maybe even breakfasts and some bacon for them this was a substitute this was supposed to be um eight rashes of uh regular back bacon but they've sent the thick ones instead which is fine some press some little gems two little gems lots of salad and some baby leaf and some romaine hearts they uh, have a short date on them for tomorrow so we'll just use those tomorrow which is okay that picks what we're having for tea for me, doesn't it? And uh, some tomatoes on the vine and some piccolo tomatoes, two lots of um, spring onions and a cucumber, lots of salad to uh, bulk up our teas. And we've got, oh, I don't know why, it's, oh no, everything's going to fall. Some mini sweet peppers. I don't know why I've put them upside down, but there we go. You can still see them. They look the same whichever way around you are. You just can't see the, uh, the label some celery sticks I got the celery sticks instead of the big pieces of celery and I'll use them in cooking because they were cheaper literally the only reason why normally I would just buy a bunch of celery and, and they were on offer I think two lots of um, peppers and is this the brand the Nightingale Farms that was another one of the, the cheaper brands I think they were only 70 something pence you know for those peppers which is really good. I'm sure they're normally a pound every else, but that was really good. And some leeks. They were supposed to be organic leeks because these leeks weren't in stock when I ordered them. But then when they went to pick, they were there. So that's fine. Got what I wanted in the end. Uh, jacket potatoes. Always got to have jacket potatoes. Two lots of jacket potatoes. Because we'll have them for lunch as well as for like a quick one for lunch as well as for tea. Some mushrooms. A red cabbage. I like red cabbage on um, uh, salad. And actually, I might make like a little uh, coleslaw with the lighter and light mayonnaise if we have burgers. That might be a good idea. Uh, some radishes for the salads. Some chilies. Uh, we'll have a curry one day, or maybe on an adal one day, maybe. And um, some carrots. Lots of carrots because they'll go in nearly everything. Uh, two lots of Maris Piper potatoes. I'll do mash one day. And I'll do um, wedges and chips and things in the air fryer. Some British baby potatoes. They were only 50 pence. And I'm going to do some smashed potatoes. So I'm going to parboil them and then uh, coat them in some fry light and lots of herbs and spices. And then smash them onto the um, into the tray before I roast them. So like roasted smashed potatoes. Two big garlics. We have garlic in everything. Two Ray Ben apples because my little girl and my husband snack on them and I put them in our breakfasts. And some organic bananas. I don't know why I picked the organic ones. I don't know why. 
but never mind. Um, they'll be nice anyway. And oh, they were um fair trade. That's why because they were advertised as the fair trade ones. So I picked the fair trade ones. Some brown onions and some red onions. And this is the other brand. I think I'm gonna drop everything. Red Mia Farms. That was the other brand in Tesco's, and they were only fifty nine pence or something for a kilogram of red onions. So there we have our great big shop, which I think is quite big actually. This is um for £111 because we used the club card savings. I think that's cracking and that'll keep us going. I've got some bread in the freezer um, already and I've got some other vegetables in the freezer. I've got some more pasta and a few more beans in the cupboard and tinned tomatoes. So I think the only thing in the next couple of weeks that we might need extra, maybe, I don't even think we'll need cheese, to be honest. I think this will do us, unless I need some lasagna sheets. And I'm not going to the shops for the, for the lasagna sheets, so we'll have to make do with something else. Because uh, I, I haven't been in a supermarket since Christmas. So um, I think that's really good. So I'll definitely be using Tesco Delivery again, I think. And it's really close to us. It's only a couple of miles away rather than Asda being 10 miles away. And uh, I'm going to go and put all this away and have one of those lovely um, Muller Light, or I hope it's lovely, chocolate fix layers. Sounds lovely. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.